If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before moving on. We can go ahead and draw a picture of this brick that's being dropped from the top of the building. So as the question states, the brick initially begins at the very top of the building, 150 meters off the ground, and then we're asked to calculate the final velocity of the brick when it is 50 meters above the ground. Notice that the initial velocity of the brick is going to be zero meters per second since the brick is dropped. Why don't we go ahead next and write out the conservation of mechanical energy equation. So on the left side, we have the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. We've put a little g on the potential energy to remind ourselves that it is gravitational potential energy specifically. And then we set that equal to the initial kinetic energy and the initial gravitational potential energy. Now, since the brick has an initial velocity of zero meters per second, that means its initial kinetic energy is zero. It's not moving, so there will be no kinetic energy. So we can simplify the equation. Next, we can replace the kinetic energy with one half mv squared, and then the potential energies with mass times g times height. We will notice that each term in the equation contains mass, and so we can divide each term by the mass, which will essentially eliminate it from the equation. Next, why don't we go ahead and subtract gh from both sides of the equation. We can then multiply both sides of the equation by 2, so that way we can cancel out the 1 half. Now, on the right side, since we have g both here and here, we can actually factor it out. And then finally, we can take the square root of both sides of the equation so that we can isolate v. And at this point, we can plug in the known values. Let's remember that g is a constant equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. The initial height is shown in the picture to be 150 meters, and then the final height is shown to be 50 meters. And when you simplify that on your calculator, you should get approximately 44.3, and then the standard unit, of course, for velocity is meters per second. And so this will be the correct magnitude of velocity, and then the direction, of course, will be downward, since the brick is falling downward from the top of the building. And so this would be the final answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon. Also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to respond to it on YouTube.